Hi guys, today we will continue our alternate feature of the world series. And we're probably about 2070 now, but you know, numbers are just numbers. And yes, I meant I was editing all these colors because, well, they're all messed up. But I didn't finish it. You know what's funny about this war so far? Iran and Saudi Arabia are on the same team. Well, this is also a dictator. Arabia, too. Um, Pro-Russian one. And they push in. And... Saudi Arabia unable to hold on anymore because look how small it is. They keep walking. They even walk right through that land. They occupy this. And then, well, a push into Iran is started. A push into Afghanistan is started, but it only goes to there. As you know, it's impossible to get any further or else you lose, they figure. Well, that's until rebels militias, a um, pro-Western militia br broke out in Afghanistan. Which means Afghanistan, who is basically contributing nothing to the war effort, is in revolution. It's so bad that, well, Afghanistan gets kicked off the red team. And Tajikistan falls. And guerrilla fighters, much better than the well, Taliban guerrilla fighters were, take over the country. And then they take the rest of the country because they completely fall. Rebels all over the country. Afghanistan joins the effort into the Iranian campaign. With it only being basically Russia left holding its borders. This is when a Ukrainian offensive in the Russia begins. Russia is very infuriated right now that Kazakhstan betrayed them. They push in, committing war crimes as they go. Hmm. Seems to be the repeating story. War crimes, more war crimes, and more war crimes. Yes, that's called war. I don't know what happened in the background, but if any of you use photo image pixel style, you probably will know. But I don't. And I've been using this for, well, a few years. Well, it's not as crazy as my area, getting to 32 degrees global warming already in effect instead of its average 20. Wonder. 32 degrees instead of your average 20 for the last few days. Well, that does not sound good for the climate. So I guess all the Pacific Islands are probably sunk with Russia occupying those lands. But Ukrainian forces push in from the overthrown Ukrainian dictatorship. They didn't care about its people, much like Russia. Hmm, Russia. Well, Chechnya at this point declares maybe independence is great. Georgia declares independence. No, let's just leave this alone because, well, I'm not sure about border, borders, so we can go through a peace treaty using my trace over map. And the coast of Iran falls. And Iran, basically with no hope left, starts crippling. And Tehran falls. All that's left is Russia. Who's quickly but rapidly pushed out of Kazakhstan. So quick that they barely last. Mm -hmm. There for a week. 
And, well, caucus is somehow fault. Mountains are falling. Well, Russia isn't going to end up having the best treaty. They're going to be minimized in size. And we get past the greater caucuses and push in. So crazy they even take Kaliningrad and St. Petersburg. Russian citizens are upset. But that's not the worst thing. Sakhalin is taken back by the Japanese. American and Canadian forces send specially trained and cold troops. Mostly Canadian, because Canadians like the cold. <laughs> I wonder why we like the cold. Besides that. The Russian ruble at this time is worth 0 0.150 zeros, one. American dollars. Or like a trillion dollars probably is worth. Russia is completely inflated. The Trans-Siberian Railroad is targeted. As a siege of it begins. It starts there. Liberation of Mongolia is believed to be important. So they push in Mongolia. Well... They call this, well, Operation Storm, which goes pretty well. Because, well, it's hard to invade Russia from the east-west direction, but what about the south? Hmm. Has anybody ever thought of this, invade from the south? Take all the croplands. Oh. Russia refuses to surrender. Well, crazy news comes from this Russian Russia when they hear, well, Vladimir Putin is found dead. Which leads to the Western nations starting to push in, making gains. Like, it's so crazy. That's far from Russia's worst problems. Well, when Putin is found dead, I'll have to be over a hundred while they surrender. Hoping to be not hit that hard. But you know, what will happen to Russia? Better hope you don't, but you know. But you know. Well, let's take away Ukraine's border. Here. And let's see what happens to the Ukrainian Republic and Moldova, Moldova Republics. Well, let's just see. And how we're going to do this is file import as new layer. My world PNG that I traced over a map for, but apply. You want to see what happens to Ukraine? Moldova. Moldova gains independence again. Ukraine gains independence along with a bit of Belarusian lands. And Russian lands. Let's 
especially here. This is what Ukraine looks like. Georgia gains, well, independence. Azerbaijan gains some Azeri-dominated lands. Chechnya gains independence. Dagestan gains independence. Which is crazy. North Ossetia gains independence. East and West Russian Caucasus gain independence. Kazakhstan gains land. Tartarstan. Tartarstan gains independence. Poland gains these lands. Lithuania gains lands. Latvia gains lands. This is how the Belarus is basically divided. Well, Latvia gets a lot of land. Finland claims annexation of Calaria. For some reason, I don't know why. And this land, they give Norway a bit of land, not too greedy Finland. They do get a lot of land. I don't know if Tartarstan looks like Tartarstan. It's just confusing because of where it's located. But it'll gain independence like that. It's the borders it gets. Gave. And it gets crazy borders. Crazy, crazy, crazy borders. Crazy, crazy, crazy borders. Crazy, crazy, crazy borders. And... Well, I don't know if that's an accurate tartar stand, but it's about accurate. About accurate, about accurate. Close enough for my likings. Correct me in the comments section. Poland annexes Kaliningrad. We have all the newly independent republics in Russia. And it's chaotic what happens to Russia now. Kalaria and Kola get annexed by Finland. A bit of Kola gets annexed by Norway. Estonia gains lands in this region. Northern Russia gets independence. Which will be to here, to the Ural Mountains. Which shall also gain independence. It shall also gain independence. Known as this land. Mongolia gains independence, but loses Inner Mongolia. Which is crazy. Tanu Tuvat gains independence. Which I believe looked something like this. Well, these lands are given to China. These lands are given to Japan. 
along with these lands. America decides to take well these lands. Well, Zheng Zhen takes these lands. That's, well, not who gains it, but South Zheng Zhen gains big lands. The Republic of China gained quite the big lands. Reunifies China and takes these lands. Italy doesn't get punished too harshly due to the fact that, well, they left the war in time. Japan gained those lands crazy. These lands by the Americans. Well, Siberia thus loses land. Hmm. Will there ever be a reunified Russia? I doubt it. Zheng Zheng and Kazakhstan split Kyrgyzstan. Zheng Zheng takes Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Now let's get rid of all these Russian states. I mean, look at them. Moscovy, Novgorod, Orolia, Tartarstan gained independence. Look at all the nations that were freed by Russia from Russia. Look. Just look at it. Look at all the freed areas of Russia. Kazakhstan basically gets, is no longer a part of this treaty. America is a part of all the treaties. Hmm. America. And now guess who gains lands? Germany. Which gains these lands from Italy. Slovenia gains these lands. France takes these lands. Italy maintains control over this. France takes that. Slovenia takes that. Estonia finally annexes its gains in the Treaty of Madrid. Well, Spain doesn't look too good for you, based on what happened to Italy. But this is not who that they're talking. Now, let's go to Spain, Pain, Spain. Morocco annexes these lands. These lands are annexed by Catalonia. These lands are annexed by Portugal. And that's all for Spain. Hmm, why didn't Spain get punished that hardly? Well, because Spain is just Spain. And, you know, Spain will keep having revolutions. Yeah, Spain does that. Good. And I just realized, all the names. Almost all NATO members have signed it. The World Treaty Organization has almost all been finished with treaties. Almost all. Turkey is invited back to it. Well, on paper, Spain doesn't look to be punished too badly, right? But in reality, sometimes paper doesn't always tell the full story, does it? Paper never tells the full story. Well, it could, but it doesn't ever. Britain basically gets nothing out of this treaty and is like, why? Not even reparations to call their own. Montenegro gains land. 
Bosnia gains lands. Croatia gains lands. Well, Bosnia gets independent. And this is what's left to Serbia. Serbia is given a pro-Western government. Along with Montenegro. Which is freed now and happy. They're freed from the tyrannical government. Greece is forced to give Albania lands. Known as Epirus, which is like Greece's nationalist Nazi government is no more as they are now controlled by the West. Romania is Western, is joins the World Treaty Organization. Ukraine does. Bosnia just does. Well, they do occupy multiple places. They occupy Greece. You know why? Because, well, Greece did Greece. Germany gets all of its debts paid back from Greece. Yay! Crimea is just given independence. No, who am I kidding? Well, many areas of world look much radically different, like radically different. Chechnya is finally free after years of oppression to Russian hands. That's great to hear. Actually, I forgot one thing. Guess who gains lands in Iran? Oh, they gain the rest of the oil-rich region in this area. Azerbaijan gains these lands for some reason. Turkey annexes Cyprus. Well, Turkey was allowed back into the alliance. Pretty great to hear. Turkey was allowed back in. Yay for Turkey. Yay for Azerbaijan. Well, Afghanistan's new government annexes lands. Guess who does? Pakistan gains lands. Pakistan, the Pakistan. Pakistan. Well, the World Treaty Organization is stronger, better, even better. Iran is occupied by, well, their forces. Afghanistan, the new democratic Afghanistan is invited. Pakistan is invited. India is in back. And, well, the world has radically changed. With China and Xinjiang and, wait. They highlighted at the same time. Korea, the Japan, the Japanese Empire rises again. The dragon rises again. And look what you messed up on a nation. No, my island got destroyed. Ready? But look at it. Are you chilling with what it now looks like? I'm irritated by it, but that's all we can do. Sometimes you need to continue your mistakes. Like this time. It doesn't need perfection. It doesn't matter if it has one tiny eyesore, does it? Comment down in the box. What do you think of that? I mean, comments box. It's not called the box. I mean, if it was called the comment, comment box, might do well. Well, this video is late out today. Mm, luckily, you know who's not involved in any more treaties? None of North or South America. They just chillax.
Hey, just chill out. Peru and Bolivia is reunified. Which is marked by chairs. With its new Western government, Peru, Bolivia joins the World Treaty Organization, along with many members that are now just joining. Everyone basically just joined that was in this war is just joining, 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 joining. Basically everyone, not everyone exactly, but you know. South Africa's turn, now watch them burn. The EAF annexes Angola. This is great for them. And they do that. They annex those lands. Well, Zambia gains independence. Malawi gains independence. Namibia gains independence. Botswana gains independence with the Botswana lands in these territories. They gain independence. They gain independence. And I forgot a border, of course. This border. Lesotho gains independence along with all of its lands. Of this people. Well, good. The Cape gets independence. And then this is just called, well... Actually, no, those lands don't gain independence because that doesn't make sense. We'll just give all this to the Cape. Or should we just keep calling it South Africa? It doesn't look so much like we would still call it that. I say we'll continue calling it South Africa for now. Unless you come up with a good name for this Cape thing. Well, now let's go up north. Let's sign the treaty here. Well, Chad gains lands. Job, Chad. The EAF gains lands. Ethiopia gains lands. Well, Egypt gains lands. Chad gains lands from Libya. Tunisia gains lands. Egypt gains lands. Morocco gains land. France gains lands. Tunisia gains lands. Now let's fix the map for this. Look at France's new territory. Tunisia gets a new territory. They gain new territories. They gain new territories. They gain new territories. Sudan is pretty much, well, Sudan is added to the EAF all of Sudan. And this is what's gained by them. They gain these lands. An African Union alliance is made. These nations are put into the new African alliance known as the Cairo Pact. France occupies northern Algeria. And Libya is occupied.
Yemen gains independence. They gain independence. Saudi Arabia becomes useless for a lack of a better word. Look at all that's left of us, Saudi Arabia. Well, it gets annexed. Yemen and Oman and all these countries get freed. Now time to finish coloring in the E World Treaty Organization or the WTO. Now we need to figure out now it'll go in a new direction, which is a single polar world. Which basically NATO has become useless. There's no enemies now. In Newfoundland, why did you do this? I mean, I would fix it, but look. These are going to be the new ways to look for some places. Get used to it. That looks pretty cool looking. Work. Changing it to that. But personally, I think I need to fix it. I will fix these mistakes by the next video. And I will fix the watercolor. Which I wish I could, but no, too hard. The reason I'm saying that is because look at all the work you have to do. Well, with Cuba being a part of you, the America is doing pretty well off. Well, there's new things to come. Yeah, if I mess up with Newland or any of these, well, you know what I'm going to do? My free time. Is this. And this will take forever, as you can tell. And I'll do this to every island I met oofed up on. And now the world is turning into a new thing. People feel that NATO, is the World Treaty Organization, is useless due to the fact that there's no more tensions in the world. Which is far from the truth. India, well, starts its ambition to unify the Indian subcontinent. Which they start by annexing Pakistan, which is basically their puppet. China's still divided. Well, and thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and this series will continue. Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Subscribe because we're trying to get to 100 subscribers by August 1st. We're at 25. Most of you are not subscribed, and Wild Mapper out.